Hi all, obviously you can see we're uh, dressed accordingly for Jersey tomorrow's day. Jersey Day. Jersey Day in memory of Nathan Grimo. It's really gathered momentum over the last few years. Quite a sad day, but great for so many reasons and the fact that it's making people aware of organ donation. Um, got to go to the website when you, on your driver's license and tick the box that you are an organ donor. It should be compulsory or mm. unless you've got religion or other reasons holding you back or you don't want to, that's fine. But these days you've got to actually tick that you want to be an organ donor. So anyone can have mine. I'd love to save a few lives. Big, big heart, great lung capacity. You see yourself as a bit of a new, horse, do you? New teeth. New gnashes. <laughs> so on, eh? give it serious thought. You need to donate your organs if, you're, if there's no reason why you can't get stuck into it. Mm. Don't need blood on so Good boy. Yeah, Plasma cool. or blood? Blood. Anyway, we'll rip straight into Randwick as I no longer have mad cow disease and we'll get to race three. Hoover Lucy, long time off the scene. What do you reckon? She works good. Going good. She only had the one trial after like a year between races, but um, mm. that's always a concern with our horses, but she's come back well. Uh, race four into the Tattersalls Club Cup. Lord Ardmore, also in tomorrow at one. Probably go one. And down the bottom, both on the limit weight of 53, too much to bear and chalk stream. Too much to bear, will he get 2400? Is the question, thoughts? From gate 10, you'll be quiet, will you? Still the same distance, whether it's gate 10 or gate one distance. Yeah, but he doesn't need to be ridden how he was ridden last night, does he? If he's ridden perfectly then. Yeah, I think he can go. Oh, he'll, he'll win then. No, I think chalk stream will oh. beat him. Chalk stream, he's going well. Um, second up, 2400, not concerned. Who is she? Okay. No, Kara McAvoy rides. Reasonable draw, probably coming to gate six. Yep, then straight into the Dali Furious Stakes. Obviously, you won the first race in the Princess Series, and you're represented by Wave Rider Boy and Madam Pomegranate. Both horses need to improve, um, but we picked the race out for each of them quite a while ago, and we haven't deflected. I do respect it's a really good race. We're going to struggle to win it, but let's hope they can run top three. Absolutely. Okay, then straight into the tramway where we have Colding. It's come back well. Um, obviously, the better the track, the better you'll go. It's the same story we've had for the last 12 months with him. But um, yeah, he, he, he's working really well. Yeah, absolutely. And the Yonkers and Big Boy Roy also resuming. Yonkers caused an upset this time last year from memory, fresh up, um, winning a Shannon or something similar. Uh, he's come back well, but realistic and then going to need a bit further in Big Boy. Probably be outclassed in this over the short distance, but once he gets to 1800, then watch out. Watch out. Okay, into the Chelmsford Stakes, you have number five, Cookaracha. Um, he's come back well. Doesn't mind a soft track. Great house from an awkward alley. He'll go back from the draw as he normally does when he draws wide, just needs to find some cover and he'll finish off strong. He's in for a good prep. Crystal Pegasus, didn't he have a good prep last time? Sure did, only defeat I think was in the Sydney Cup. Sydney Cup, and really, first up. Yeah, really wet track and um, still got home pretty well. So he's got a free ticket for the Caulfield Cup. So that's his path. Um, but you'd expect them to need the race on Saturday. Ash, last start winner, Surefire. Come back great. He's on that Caulfield Cup path as well. He's bouncing, isn't he? He is. First up win. Tricky draw. James McDonald is pretty good. No compromise. Um, good first up run. He'll be better suited to the mile. Soft track won't worry. Barry Six gets a good run. Hard to beat, obviously, Moanga and uh, you got horses there like Numeron and what was the other one? Uh, on Montevideo. Yeah, on Montevideo. Good yeah. horse. Nice horse. horses. As it should be for a group two. So race nine, you've got two. Starman and Zarastro, who's had a first up run. Starman's come back well. Um, Looking like a bomb, hasn't he? Yeah, he's one on a soft six, not quite as effective on a soft seven. And as you say, Zarastro, probably, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He just didn't quite finish off as well as I thought he might first up, so let's hope we see him improve from a tricky game. 
Okay, then if you've had a bad day, you should be able to get out in the last because you've got half the field starting off with paternal. Paternal, um, he had a good prep. Um, better the track, the better he'll run, but I'd like to see him over a bit further. Giannis? Um, runs in Queensland have been fair, just needs to lift a little, but he's fit. Track a bit firm from last start? Was, yeah, was. We can improve. Uh, Yee Yee? Go uh, tomorrow instead? Probably go a while, yeah. Uh, Wicklow, last start winner. He'd be the best of ours here, on form. Um, didn't win by far last start, but we've freshened him up since, and uh, his work's been tip top. Also you have Niffler. Good winner last start, she'll be my second pick. And um, just a tricky gate on Saturday is the only difference between this and her last run, but she's working really well. Welsh legend? Uh, I'd like to see the track a bit better for her. Um, first up run was pass mark. Just needs to lift a touch. And finally.